right, am I starting this off? All right, first of all, I want to say uh, it's a blessing and an honor to be here. I am Marcus Dixon, a new D-line coach here with the Vikings. Uh, truly honored, truly a blessing to be here with KO again, the culture he's building, uh, working for Flo, the collaboration, the collaboration we have across the defensive staff, the staff working together with them, the players, man, it's been tremendously like just awesome. So glad to be here. Questions? In terms of uh, what Brian Flores did defensively last year, when you looked at his defense and the versatility he asked from his defensive lineman, I guess what was your biggest takeaway from just his philosophy? I think for the philosophy is making sure we try to confuse the offense as much as possible, keep the offense on their heels as much as possible, and uh, being able to change and be able to adapt to any situation within the game but at the drop of the dime. Um, it's funny, when I interviewed with him, I was kind of asking, like, what's the you know the scheme? How do I fit? And it was kind of like, uh, not really a scheme. All right, so uh, it's, it's very fun to be a part of. It's, it helps you and makes you have to think outside the box. Uh, not only, you know, a D-line, we always think like, hey, it's just D-line. You just go in this gap and that's it. No, we have, it's a lot of things we got to think about. So I'm super excited about it. It's, it's allowing me to see the game from different angles, different positions. Uh, I mean, he's a, he's a great mind, um, along with that whole defensive staff, man. So I'm so excited about this season. Yeah. You said that that kind of excites you, but does it kind of pull out what you like to do a little bit, kind of being on your toes that way? No, the beauty of it, though, is with, uh, with Coach Flo is that he likes – his thing is there are no bad ideas. He don't care what the good ideas and where they come from. So we're all in there talking at the table, and, and you know, it's things I might have done in the past, things Swerve might have done in the past, Stad, Pat Hill, Hutchins, DJ. It's a lot of things that we might have done, and we bring it to the table, and then we, boom, we come to the field, and we're all on the same page with it. So it's not necessarily you just kind of getting away from what you do. It's like what can we do as a staff to make these guys play better? And he's so open-minded about it, man. That's why it's going to be great. Of, of Jared, I can barely hear you. Sorry, what have you thought of Jerry Tillery just in his, his early time? Uh, had, I always had a lot of respect for uh, JT. He played for one of my mentors, Gibb Smith, so he kind of talked to me about him. Um, he's a guy that's very athletic. He's a guy that you wouldn't believe what he weighs because he's so lean, but he's like 295, so very excited about him. Athletic guy, former first rounder, um, very, very smart. He loves the team. He loves the room. He's always engaged, very intense. And when you talk to him, like it's almost like you feel like he's staring in a space, but he's locked in. Uh, but no, he's been awesome. When it comes to the uh, outside linebacker versus D end, I guess like how do you view the roles of the edge rushers when it comes to this defense? Uh, so the edge rushers are very, very important. That's just across the league, period. So we got some guys that we added with JG. You got DT. You got Pat Jones. You got Andrew uh, Andre Carter out there. You got a lot of those guys that are coming off the edge. And then you add us. Sometimes we might be on the edge as a defensive end. And it's the same mindset. Um, it's all about collapsing the pocket in the, run, in the rush game, in the pass game. And it's all about setting hard edges in the run game. So it's all on the same page. And that's just across the league in general. Describe what it's been like coaching Levi Drake. Levi, LDR. All right, I like, I love Levi, man. He's a, uh, he's a big personality. Uh, he's gonna be awesome. He's like, he's gonna have a, a bright future. Uh, and I think he's a guy that once, once he continues to, continues to trust the process like he's doing, I think he's, uh, the future is bright for him. Yeah, but I enjoy coaching him. It's fun. Talk about Dallas. What do you like about him so far? You talked a little bit about Dallas. Touched on him. What do you like about him so far in these early goings? So. Um, the guys, the kid is smart. He's extremely smart. And I'm not in his meeting room. You know, he's an outside backers, but uh, he's been locked in, and I think he can handle a lot. Uh, I mean, he, he's he's ready to go. I mean, it's, it's still, again, he's still a rookie. It's still a process, but I think he has a group of guys. The culture is so great here that it allows him to kind of be himself and grow to be that player he wants to be. Especially the flexibility that, you know, B-Flo wants to have in the defense to move them outside, move them up. No, you, no question. No, I agree with that. Yeah, so with DT, all the guys, though, we try to have guys that have position flexibility that makes you elite as a defense that allows you to do different things. So we're excited about all those guys. Coach, with, with Jonathan Bullard, obviously kind of being in the league for a while, a couple different spots, and then re-signing here this season, he expressed being really excited about that. Just what is the biggest thing that, that he brings to the group? Uh, well, you said it. He's a guy that's played a lot of snaps. Uh, he's a guy that, that's a leader. Um, 
you know, wanting Bull to be, you know, that vocal leader because he's going to lead with his play. He does things the right way. He's, a, he's an ultimate pro. Uh, he's a guy that when he does speak, they listen, including coaches, because you have a respect for a guy like that. Um, I respect Bull because we know this thing is voluntary, and he's a guy that, that he could have stayed home, but he decided to come. He wanted to build that relationship with, you know, not only me as the new D-line coach, but with the other guys that's coming in. So I got a lot of respect for Buller. James Lynch as well, coming back. You know, yeah. what do you like about him? I like James Lynch. So uh, I love my room. So you're not, you're not going to get anything bad out of my guys. I love these guys, man. But uh, Lynch was a guy that they had a lot of respect for here. I wasn't here with him last year, uh, but he had to work out, and they said they had a lot of respect for him. I think, I guess he worked out here to heal with his knee, man, but he's been awesome. He's another guy that's got position flexibility, so he's a great ad. A couple of times you talked about the culture here. Can you describe to me what the culture here means to you? Or Oh, I man, culture's everything. And, and KO is doing a great job of talking about being resilient, be resilient, talking about our team, our process, our way, and that's, that's taught every single day. But I think the thing that he preaches is that it's the players that really make it come alive. And I think they are taking ownership of it. Again, I'm just new here, but I see that. And knowing KO, I played with him with the Jets. I was with him with the Rams. I know what he's about. I know what his mindset is. Um, so I do feel like the guys are taking ownership on that. And you'll see it within the white lines of where to where we believe that it's always player-led teams and not a coach-led team. So we are set a culture. He's setting the culture, but those guys are making it come to life. Knowing him in his younger days, did you know that he would be head coach material? I think K.O. was always special. I mean, he was the backup quarterback with the Jets, but he always has, it was something different about him. You know, he was always able to run the scout team, you know, for us and have everybody lined up. He always had great ideas. I think Mike Pitt leaned on him a lot when he was the D.C. with the Jets. Uh, so he's, he's always been somebody that you just knew that was going to do something. You didn't know what it was going to be or how far it was going to go, but you knew he was special. What was it like working with Aaron Donald? Oh, man, that guy's awesome. I mean, I think uh, that, is, that was a blessing to be a part of it, to see a guy like that work every single day. I mean, he was uh, on the field 20 minutes before practice. He's a guy that wants to go first in Indy drill. He's a guy that wants to be coached. He gets mad at you if you see something in Indy and you didn't tell him to, re to correct it. Uh, so you're a young guy and you see that this is the best guy in the world doing it and he wants to repeat it. He wants to get it right. Like, what does that make you do? And not only as a young player, but as a coach too. Like, it makes everybody in that building want to be at their best. And that's who the AD is. That's his presence. So that was a blessing to be around him. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All good. Appreciate y'all.